Okay, let's start the server running again. And let's add a folder to the project. Uh, so training and app and select folder. Okay, that's the website loaded. And we can see the project of our, our uh, <laughs> we can see the structure of our project here. So uh, we've got our app directory and uh, this contains uh, the files that will be uh, be served uh, from development uh, while we're developing our application. So we've got uh, images, which is uh, almost empty, it's just that image there, and uh, scripts, and uh, we have our styles, and that's got uh, an SCSS file there, and that's a uh, SAS CSS file, which will be uh, pre-processed, and uh, while we're serving that temporarily, its output into the .tmp uh, folder and any pre-processed scripts like coffee script things would also be uh, put out into the .tmp uh, folder and our server uh, takes care of uh, serving the files in here as if they were in here. Uh, then we've got uh, our node modules folder and uh, this contains uh, all the uh, all the dependencies that we use have for our build so lots of uh, grunt uh, uh, packages which are installed via npm in here and uh, then our tests which uh, mirrors our our app structure uh, in terms of the scripts folder so just as we've got uh, controllers scripts controllers here we've got uh, controllers here we've got a main js file here and uh, controllers we've got a main js uh, file there and uh, then we have various uh, configuration uh, files as well. So we've got uh, editor config. Uh, this is something that uh, most uh, IDEs and text editors will respect. Uh, things like uh, uh, using uh, spaces for tabs, uh, indent size 2, and uh, automatically trimming white space when you save a file. Uh, these kind of things and uh, then we've got our git ignore uh, telling uh, git to ignore uh, the temp directory and the uh, sas cache and the distribution folder uh, and uh, also uh, the app uh, bower components you may actually want to check that in uh, and uh, then we have a js hint rc which is to do with the uh, the uh, style of JavaScript, the, the way we want JavaScript to be f formatted. It's basically checking uh, that these uh, these guidelines are uh, adhered to, and uh, it can give us warnings in the editor and at build time as well. Then we have the bow.json. This is our uh, our front end uh, dependency. So we're building an Angular project. So you can see uh, one of our dependencies is uh, is Angular, and uh, another one is uh, you know uh, Bootstrap, uh, which is giving us our CSS and uh, jQuery is in there as well. You may not want jQuery, uh, and then uh, we have our Grunt file, and these are the steps within our, our build process, uh, and uh, the tasks uh, which we can run from the command line. Remember, we we've just run. Uh, grunt serve and we can see that task defined there with all the steps in it. We've got a uh, karma end-to-end uh, -end, uh, config. Uh, now uh, Angular recommends that you use protractor so we won't really be looking at the end-to-end -end one but uh, the karma conf is uh, used for uh, is used for our unit tests and you can see various settings there uh, saying that our, our uh, unit tests are defined in our apps uh, uh, apps uh, and uh, scripts JS and we've got the uh, test uh, spec folder as well which is testing the scripts which are in app scripts and then we have uh, package.json and uh, this is the uh, dependencies 
uh, for uh, for our build process.